Ah, oh, today's a really exciting day because I've been reading oh, a lot of Carl Flesch to you out of his very first book. That's what the hygiene and practice is from. This is his second book in The Art of Violin Playing, Artistic Realization and Instruction. And there is really something good. Ah, I forgot the page. Hold on. Uh, bashfulness. He's got some really interesting, useful things to say on bashfulness. All right, let me page 105. Uh, I'm not bashful. I'm really bashful. Wait, <laughs> what am I? Actually, I'm surprisingly bashful in some ways, but apparently not when it comes to making videos about music stuff and yammering like a fool. Here we go. A further hindrance to the free play of personality lies in an enhanced psychic bashfulness. Whew. Hmm. When we wish to melt our own feelings into the psychic content of a work, we must not shrink from ruthlessly bearing our soul to the eyes of the multitude. Whew. This shamelessness, no doubt, is hardly one of the noblest, yet surely it is one of the most necessary among the qualities of the interpreter born. No shame. Feelings whose spoken symbol never would cross our lips should be revealed without an afterthought in public. In daily intercourse, those who all too lightly raise the curtain hiding their inner self are regarded, this is rough, if not as inferior, then at least as a less aristocratic soul. Ouch. In art, this is not the case. Perfect abandon and unlimited speech from the soul only can create means of expression able to reproduce a work's own psychic content in its entirety. There are young artists in whom the demand to reveal their inner selves calls forth the same opposition that would be aroused by a proposal to walk stark naked among the clad. <laughs> if this bashfulness cannot be overcome by other means, the sufferer should see some physician specializing in psychotherapeutics. Wow. I mean, didn't they use electric shock therapy back then? Jeez. I mean, I don't think you should necessarily fundamentally change your character. Bam! If you're shy, you're shy. But I do understand in regards to music, if you want to present it in its true art form, as Leopold Auer would say, I don't know what the voice is about, then, you know, it might be worthwhile heeding Carl Flesch's advice. That's all for today.